back down. Oh, it's come off. Oh, you slag. You absolute slag. Can't believe that. the old carp, what's done me, in some dead pads. I put a solid bag to a showing fish before, blanking my scrotum off. I've had a take, I've hit into it, it's gone solid. Oh, it's come off. Oh, you slag. You absolute slag. I can't believe that. Oh, God, that is painful. There we go, how's that? Cracking mirror, not a bad one for in here either. Absolutely buzzing, at least I haven't blanked. Day ticket diaries kicked off, first fish of it. That's the one, innit? Cheers, son. This one's got a mangled mouth. It's fish number two, this was on the solid bag. It's a shame, that really. Nice little mirror as well. What do they call it? What's fashionable? A little scamp or something like that. Yeah, oh, it's hard even got a match. It's a match lake, that's the only downside, innit? It's a lovely carp though, it's not It's not the carp's fault. The good news is, if it can suck my up bait in, it can still feed, can't it? So obviously it's, uh, yeah, yeah, laughing. Nice little mirror, fish number two. Nice, yeah. that's, just saying, I'm gonna change the colour of the zig and the depth, and it's just gone. Uh, it's a one foot zig. So the last three sessions, I've blanked on all of them. Two were on the syndicate, I just went out the fish. Could more, me like the first instalment of me, uh, Oh no, what's it got me around there? Yeah, still on. Um, yeah, that was a complete. Oh, what's a waste of time? Because it's better than being in work, isn't it? But um, yeah, it's kite and left this fish. Just let me get them in net. Yeah, mirror. Oh, buddy, oh, this is uh, this is just what the doctor ordered. I'm not Harold Shipman. There we go, the one foot zig. The one foot zig. We not drop it now, Ed. That's a cracking little mirror, that. I must admit, I'm feeling that. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it like Kurt feels the Saturday lad at the shop he works in. Ooh. No need for that, was there? Sorry, Kurt. Look at that. Absolutely. Jimmy nailed. Jimmy nailed! Yes. Right, I sat here all morning with Nat, wondering why I haven't had a bike getting liners. And now, and I can't, you know, it's gone off. Mayhem. I've made, I made eight solid bags ready. I've now got none left and I've only had one fish on solid bag. <laughs> Typical. So what I'll do now, I'll show you how I'm tying them up and uh, what's caught me that fish. So first thing you'll need is some solid bags. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use these mini ones because I can dip them in they fit, in, they fit in the sticky bottles. That's CSL. I've filled that myself. But I've got a hemp oil one. And uh, both have come to hemp oil. Uh, the bag dips in them both takes them on a solid bag. So uh, they can fit in. Whereas the cord are small, which I also like to use. You can't dip them in. Right, first thing I do. I've got absolutely all sorts in there. There's all sorts in the But they're all small. They're all small items. So first thing I do. 
fill about, I don't know, just 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 a little bit. Don't don't do like an inch, don't an inch, centimetre, whatever. Uh, Jimmy Tembe put me onto that. Well, the hillbilly Tembe, as you'll know him. Right, that's a Nash Citrus fizzy stick mix. Two ounce lead. I like these stems because you can twist as hard as you want. And because it, it's hard plastic, uh, like rubber ones, they twist round and I'll show you at the end anyway. Little update. Size six hook, I've shown you before the rig, didn't I? Size six hook, barbless, liner liner, four inches of, uh, I think that's Fox Reflex Camo. I've got about four or five different braids. To be honest, I'm not really bothered which one I use. Right, lead in first to the back, back of the bag. And then we put more, leave the update out for now. Put the up bait in. I'll do it. Here. Right. Dent that with your thumb. Make like a cavity. It's like a gap at the top. Say so shuffle a few pellets down if you need to. Then I push that up bait. So it's, it's the, the flat, they call it the flatbed method now, don't they? But I genuinely believe that's got me more fish since I started doing this. So I like to have the hook at the top against the PVA so you can actually see it in the update so a few more pellets uh, even it off what I do rather than bang it down with the lead to tighten it I push it down with my finger and thumb keep pushing down and then just keep shaking it like that let, let physics do the work let physics do the work and then here's, right, here's the twisting bit it's got like a weird bend, like a corner thing. So what I'll do, twist it tight, bend them in, push push them in, push it down. So it sort of fills out, makes it a bit fatter, like wider, you know, from the side view. Keep twisting, obviously nice and tight. I use PVA tape because for me, I think it's, I think it keeps the bag tighter. There's not wrong with licking and sticking at all but my personal preference is to use uh, PVA tape now, a couple of overhand knots granny knot you want to call him snip that off neating it up it's more it's more aesthetics neating it up cutting them off you can just twist them and lick, stick them to the stem if you wanted to but and then push the corners in and what I do again grab the corner bit the flat oh that's a solid bag ah, ah, let physics do the work push the other one in again bit of moisture there we go there's the solid PVA bag done that's ready to go now that 